making apple, old fashioned apple coffee cake in honor of my over 55 Bible class, which I started today. It starts started today. It's a fill. There's over 55 people in the class, and I dearly love this class. So I'm adding in one the flour. It must be sifted. Okay, and one half cups of all the flour. Yeah, I've been attending this class for a long, long time, and it's really grown this class. It's a huge class. I got to definitely clean off this flour today. Okay, we're going to put the sifter over here. I've had this sifter for many, many, many years. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in two one half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm just going to make our cake rise. One. Two. Little devil. Come on, there we go. Baking powder, and I'm adding in the sugar. And we're adding in. Check it real fast, folks. I have not made this in a long, long time. I'm adding in. Okay, what are we adding in? We're adding in. Okay. Luna. Course, late folks, when you go to a senior citizen Bible class, your eyes are not the same, folks. It's unbelievable how we age so fast. Oh my goodness! All right, okay. Now we have a little tiny piece of sugar in here. Sometimes it happens with sugar, break it up a little bit, not to worry. Now we're going to mix this together before we start the next amount of ingredients. I'm now going to add in the milk. Okay, we need to add in. Okay, we need to add in. One half cup of milk, whole milk. It's got to be whole milk. Unbelievable. What happens as we get older, our eyes are just not the same. Okay, one half cup of milk. The milk over here. We're adding in one egg and also an, an unsalted butter. There we go. And three teaspoons, tablespoons of unsalted butter. Always use unsalted when you make any kind of cake, okay? Now we're going to mix this together, and I'm also adding in a teaspoon of vanilla. Adding in a teaspoon of vanilla, okay? Okay. We haven't gotten to the apple yet. That's going to be so yummy when it's done. Oh, I can't wait to have some tonight. We're going to mix this together. Now, sometimes, folks, even the recipe can call for so much milk, and you sometimes you have to add in. I can see this is a little dry. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to add in just a little bit more milk, just to get it more moist. It's just too dry. We don't want coffee cake to be overly dry, so I'm adding in a little bit more milk. Just a little bit more milk. All right. Sometimes you just don't know, even with a recipe. Okay, a little bit more milk, and that's going to be it. Still too dry. Oh, okay. Okay, a little bit more milk, not to worry. I should do that, definitely do it. Um, I would say, folks, start thinking about adding in about a cup of milk. There we go. When you make a coffee cake, you want it moist, not overly dry. That's is much better, see? Okay, now we're going to stop grating the apples. Use a grater when you make anything with any kind of muffin cake or anything. Always use a grater. Okay. There we go. All right, what I'm going to do now is we're going to mix the grated apple together. This is going to be a delicious, fantastic wonderful coffee cake. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in just a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon actually into the cake before we go to the next step which is a topping. Here we go. Okay. 
Now this is going to be an apple coffee cake, and it's going to be so yummy. I can't wait to have some. All right, now we're going to pour the cake batter into the cake pan. It has to be greased. <clears throat> I love this class. I was telling you, we have all kinds of events. We have luncheons. We have parties. We even go on trips sometimes. It's just a wonderful get-together every Friday morning. It's just it's a thrill. It's taught by Pastor Joe. Such a wonderful man he is. And he gave me a job with the church. I was absolutely thrilled to take a job. It's, it's, it's volunteer, you know, but it's still something, you know. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll teach, teach a cooking class at the church. We'll call it Deborah Wade's Church Gathering or whatever. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. This is going to be our topping. Add one. Two. Now, I'm adding in a tablespoon of cinnamon. I like it really cinnamony. Here we go. A little bit more. Okay, it should be more than enough. That's perfect. Okay, put everything aside. Mix this together. If you don't have cinnamon, you can always add ground cinnamon. Okay, get the spoon out of here. This is going to be so delicious, I tell you. I absolutely love fall. I know fall is definitely underway because all my classes opened up. Okay. Okay. Spread this all over the place. We're going to pop it in the oven and we're going to bake it for about 15 minutes. And we'll have a delicious apple coffee cake. And here we have delicious, wonderful apple coffee cake. It's a little hard to get up. So, all right, let me get a spot for you. Let me for this. It's soft, it's hot, and it's great served with milk. There we go. Look how beautiful this is. Oh. Homemade apple coffee cake. It's so delicious. It's homemade. This is honor of my over 55 Bible class or the adult class, whatever you want to call it. It meets every Friday morning at my church. Brought by Pastor Joe. We have over almost 80 people in the class. I figured it out just now. Deborah, I'm country kid. Have a great day and peace subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.